Hey guys, Symmetry was back and today's video is going to be a little bit different. So I was showering and then combing through my beard and I had noticed that I had some shedding that occurred and I found a few strands that came from the top of my head. I found them on the counter and then a little bit later on as I was combing through my beard I found more strands and I wanted to show you guys a few things so you have heard people say you know no one's locks will look the same it depends on many things one of which how coarse or fine your hair is and so something that I've said in the past but now I'm showing you is that the type of hair that I have on my beard is very different than the type of hair that I have on the top of my head my beard hair is super coarse so you see on the left hand side where it says coarse beard hairs just look how dark and thick those hairs are right they're very coarse they're very like sturdy they're very strong if I you know snap it you can hear like an audible <laughs> like pop or snapping sound um, whereas when you compare those hairs to the hairs coming out of my scalp those hairs are much finer okay um, and I have a lot of strands my mother told me this years ago you know back in the day when she used to <laughs> pick and comb my hair when I had a little a little afro but um, she said she, she used to say boy you have a lot of hair <laughs> on your head but it never really registered I never really thought I did because it didn't appear to be a lot what was true I mean she was right I had a lot of strands but it didn't appear to be a lot of hair because my hair on my head is very fine and so you see you know the the girth or thickness of those strands is noticeably smaller it's noticeably different than the thickness of those strands there and so the truth is I have a lot of hairs both on my head and in my beard but because my beard hair is coarser it gives a much fuller look so if I had the type of hair on my beard on my head if I had the type of hair in my locks it would be so voluminous it'd be crazy and when you look at my locks you know I have a pretty full look when I don't retwist but it would be much fuller if I had that cord beard hair cord beard hair <laughs> coarse beard hair <laughs> on the top of my head but it's cool I don't have it um, and so yeah I just have to wait to achieve a full look when I don't retwist which is fine because I don't like retwisting a lot anyway uh, something else that I wanted to show you is I was able to capture hairs that were dry versus hairs that had been wet and um, I just wanted to show you that you see the coily pattern right in the dry hair is much less um, like for instance this one it's darn near straight it can get straight like if I were to comb it and like just let it dry there's hardly any coiling to that strand right um, whereas this one is still a little bit but it's not as much now if we look here, that one was wet. You know when people say that after they wet the hair it reverts back to its natural curl pattern? That's kind of like what happened there. So you have this one, that's what my hair, you know, that's one of the possibilities that a strand of hair will do when it's dry. But then if I were to wet it, it goes back to that, that tight coil, right? Same thing for the beard hair. It can get pretty straight, it's so coarse. <laughs> but it still can get pretty straight but if I were to wet it, this is beard hair right here as well it it also coils as well but it doesn't coil as much as say you know the hair some on the top of my head, the hair is coming out of my scalp and I assume that probably has something to do with just how coarse it is and it probably takes more I don't know if force is the right word but it takes more to get it to coil as tightly whereas I feel like it can coil much more easily because it's finer this hair can so yeah these are just uh, you know a couple of types of hairs if you will that I have on my head and I'm sure I have 
you know, other other grades of hair on coming out of my scalp as well. But um, the, the majority of it is definitely like this. And so, yeah, once again, if you're trying to get locks like someone, you have to take into consideration that that your hair type and how it coils, you know, how fine the hair is or how coarse it is will all play a role in the appearance of your locks ultimately, okay? So, you know, if you have coarser hair and you have a lot of strands, you're going to have a crazy full look. You'll probably have a decent, decently full look if you just have coarse hair as well, but if you have like a lot of strands plus coarse hair, your hair is going to be out of this world. If you have finer hair and not many strands, you're not going to get too much volume with that. But th there is a little saving grace there. If you have a lot of strands um, with fine hair, that's kind of like my that's the category I fall in, then you can get a little bit of volume as well. Um, so yeah, and, and the type of, you know, the coarseness and fineness that will play into you know how big you how big or small you should make your parts if you're just starting out locks to determine the ultimate size of your locks all these things factor into the ultimate appearance of your locks and how you want them so I haven't seen a video really like this done on YouTube I'm sure there are probably some out there but I wanted to make one just in case no one had ever done it and uh, hopefully this helps you better understand the various hair types and this is only two <laughs> so yeah let me know if you guys have any questions you can ask me in the comment section I do hope you will I'm gonna get out of here so please learn to love unconditionally because loving with conditions conditions the heart to not really love at all so betray you is out so betray you Hey guys, so much you was back and uh, yeah, I forgot to mention a couple of things. Well, one, I didn't forget to mention it, but I don't know if you noticed, but I spelled course with a U and of course, of course, this mention, of course, is not the one with the U, it's the one with the A. I was thinking about classes when I wrote that out, so my apologies. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys caught that misspelling. If you didn't, you guys need to brush up on your spelling skills. <laughs> uh, but secondly, more importantly, I forgot to mention one of the reasons that I am not too keen on the idea of actually bleaching my locks. The reason is because of how fine the hair is. You know, if I had this beard hair on my scalp, you know, if that, the beard hair was what was forming my locks, then I would feel much more okay with bleaching them because, you know, that thickness, it, it seems like it can be broken down a little bit and still be okay. I wouldn't be in danger of losing my locks. But with the fine hair, you see I'm working with, you know, much less. And so, yeah, it just makes me a little bit nervous. Now, if you've ever paid attention to my locks, um, and there are many of you who are relatively new, Sebi's, uh, you will see that I have certain parts of my locks that are light where they've been bleached. Um, check out my video, I think Bald Fade to Locks. And basically, I had a friend bleach my roots <laughs> and then had her dye it red and then as it faded, it led to like this sunrise effect. It was really cool, at least I thought it was. Um, but basically, and that was when I was loose natural, obviously. So as that hair grew out, <laughs> <laughs> and you know I got cuts and trims and trims that little bit that you see on my locks that is what is remaining you know and then I got my locks so you'll notice if you go to my zero month lock update video you'll see that blonde that gold color it was there from the beginning in my comb oils so I have not bleached my locks since then but yeah that's just one of the reasons why because that hair is so much finer I just don't really feel comfortable that like it can it can take being broken down and really survive you know but when I have loose natural hair that's a different story because you know I plan on cutting it anyway uh, I just don't want to do anything that will compromise the integrity and structure of my locks as I have them. Dyeing is a little bit different it's less intense and so 
you know, I do entertain the idea of that, but as far as bleaching, I don't think so. And I've noticed that most people that end up bleaching their hair, they dye it right back. So, yeah. I'm like, obviously the, the novelty wears off, people get bored of that, you know, and so I don't want to become one of those statistics. <laughs> no hate, no shade uh, to each as of her own, but this is what I'm doing. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that, you know, I take into consideration the fineness of my hair and that determines, you know, that plays a role in my decision making in terms of why. I don't bleach my locks. All right, I've already signed out, so there's no need for me to do it again. Instead, I will just say peace.